This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar exploring Boris FX Continuum 2022.5. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. Boris FX Continuum is the Swiss Army knife for visual effects for video editors and motion graphics creatives. In this short video tutorial, I'll show you how to create a complex effect using blurs, color effects, and multiple masks, plus mocha mask tracking in Continuum and Final Cut Pro. Let's try something a little bit trickier. This ugly fish is courtesy of Jim Walker and Lobster's Gone Wild Production. I want to focus more on the fish and less on the background. So let's select the clip. We're going to apply a blur. So we're in blur, and we're going to give it a smear blur because it's just ugly. So select this, go to FX Editor. Let's see what our blurs look like. We've got a default blur, an offset blur, pushed way black, back spin, streaking. Oh my goodness, these are just awful. I mean, a poor fish. What do we want to do? Let's, oh, that'll work. Streaking down. Perfect. Now, I could go over here and tweak it. I've got all these controls, but this is close enough. I'm happy with it, and I, I'm short for time. I've got to get all this stuff done in an hour. So I'm going to take the preset and click the Apply button, which closes the window, applies the effect, and comes back to Final Cut. Much easier to answer that. Yes, no dialogue. I just forgot about it. Hmm. I need to see the fish, however. So let's click on Mocha Mask. And let's go up here and let's draw a nice oval around the fish. Click on the white box here and just move the position around. I can't imagine a better mask for the fish. Perfect. Make it just a bit smaller by missing the branch. And now, notice our playheads at the very beginning, and the green indicates there's the shape keyframe. And I don't need to track anything except left and right behavior. So I'll turn off that, which means the tracking is going to go a lot faster. And turn this loose and see what happens. And look at that. It's keeping track of the fish. And I don't have to adjust it. Hmm. You know, as I was watching that track, we'll just play this back for a second. Playing it in reverse. That's pretty good. As I'm watching this back, option left arrow to go to the beginning. What I want to do, I think, to really emphasize the wildness and the weird nature of the environment is I want to add another effect. I want to make this over here on the right go black and white. So we'll close this. We'll save the changes. And now we'll go down to black and white. That's under color. And black and white. And drop it on top of the clip. Well, the first problem that we've got is notice here, the blurry fish should not be blurry. It should be the background that's blurry. So we'll go to Pixel Chooser. And we will invert the mask by twirling down mask and say invert. And we'll feather that a bit so it's just a little better. But I don't want the whole image to be black and white. I just want this right blonde image to be black and white. So I need to set a mask. So I click on Mocha Mask and go back to the mask. And this time I'm going to create a, a um, B-spline. Let's type minus to shrink the image so I can work around the edges. And click here. And click here and click here, and click here, and here, and down, and over, and then click again at the where you started, and I've now created a mask. This is great! And I can track it. Well, wait a minute. All right. I've got two masks here. I'm supposed to just have one. I should have one for the fish, that's the blurry thing, and I should have one for the rock. Hmm. Well, there's actually a way to link the action of one mask to another, just so you know, I can do that. But I want to show something different instead. I'm going to go up to File, and I'm going to export the project. 
I'm going to call it rock. And I've now exported this mask to a separate project. So now we'll close this. And the reason that I had a problem was, remember when I clicked Mocha Mask, I was actually in the smear blur up here. And I didn't want to be there. I should have instead clicked Mocha Mask for the black and white filter. So I'll click it here. And this time, I will open called Merge the Project, find the rock right there, open the rock, and there's my... I got both of them again. That's because I can have multiple masks in the same effect. I'm going to highlight layer one, which is the fish, hit the, the delete button, and there is just, there's just the, uh, the mask for the rock. But I haven't tracked it yet, so let's just drop this in here and track it as long as we have time. And we'll just move through here. And I'm watching the mask and click on the red line so I get access to the points, pull the point over a bit, and keep tracking. I don't need to track anything except that. So let's go back to beginning option, and we'll just track this. Go for it. You can see the mask is moving because I set the keyframe there. I want to make sure the fish doesn't get caught by the mask. Now notice the mask is way high up here. We'll just pull this down a bit by clicking on the mask and pulling it down. It's not perfect, and if I was really spending time with this, I would make it perfecter. But I wanted to show you how this works, and we'll keep tracking. It's not a fault of the software, it's that I'm in a hurry because I want to spare you wasting time. There's a couple of other things I still want to show you. Okay, close enough. Let's go back to beginning, option left arrow, play it. And we can see that the mask is doing its thing. Cool. So now we'll close this. And we're going to say save the work. And look at that. We've got black and white there. Needs feathering. So we'll twirl down pixel chooser, twirl down the mask. Feather just a bit. Soften that up. But wait a minute. I've got this swirly thingy here but no swirly thingy over here. Where did I screw up? So we'll show this. Go to Mocha Mask. And notice that both masks are here. So I'm going to select the one that I don't want. And now close this. And we can see that I've got a swirly thing here. That's from the first smear blur. And I've got the black and white. I've got multiple tracking based on multiple shapes to create, without a doubt, the ugliest fish I have ever seen in my life. Is that not something that will cause you to lose sleep? Look at that. Well, the cool part of it is I can use FX Editor to create exactly the effect that I want. I can use Mocha Mask Tracking to track not just foreground objects, but background objects. I can build in shape uh, adjustments by using um, tracking keyframes and all of this can be done very quickly depending upon the speed of your GPU because this is a GPU accelerated. Very very cool effects which can be leveraged with effects inside Premiere and Final Cut as well. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar exploring Boris Continuum 2022.5. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 338. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and 
time, you can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software, and we update it multiple times each month. For more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.